Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent 4TB Rocket Pro external NVMe drive. Now, you heard correct, 4 terabytes. To my knowledge, this is the largest external NVMe drive on the market. I do not believe there is another manufacturer that even has something like this available. It retails, I think, between 900 to 1,000 US dollars. This is serious business. This is next level. And I'm really excited because I love NVMe drives, like I hope most of you do. They offer best in class performance, and they're only getting better. I mean, after all, I recently uh, shared with all of you the extreme one terabyte from Sabrent, and that thing just puts out crazy read and write speeds, but it's a one terabyte drive. Now they do have a four terabyte flavor, and hopefully I'll eventually get to review that as well, uh, because that is the fastest uh, option on the market right now, but this is no slouch either. Uh, as I mentioned, it is a 3.2, or maybe I didn't, uh, drive. So essentially what Sabrent is quoting on their uh, speed in terms of read and write is up to a thousand. And that is already pretty good. I mean, what can't you do with that? So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. And it's going to look like, you know, they're already existing uh, pro drives, if I can get in there. And that's not a bad thing because I think Sabrent really does make some of the nicest enclosures on the market. They're, you know, quality, they're basically able to take a beating. And then on top of all of that, you know, you have the ability now with the toolless uh, enclosures to, you know, easily get inside and, which was something they addressed from previous generations, which weren't the easiest. But again, this is like, in my opinion, some next level stuff, you know, earlier, or it was end of last year, I shared a one terabyte micro SD card, which had been on the market for a while, but still was just, the price was outrageous. Well, now you're looking at something that is kind of in the same realm because, you know, I was more than happy to get a two terabyte NVMe drive inside my HP uh, Ultrabook, the Spectre X360 13T. But now with something like this, you're talking about being able to carry four terabytes of essentially almost the fastest, only slower than, of course, their extreme product. And you can see it's designated by the rocket versus the lightning or thunderbolt uh, logo. So that's the real difference between these two. And I mean, from my experience with the extreme that I keep bringing over, uh, you know, I, I'm seeing like one and a half uh, gigabytes a second, which is just crazy. And I know they quote, I think it's you know, up to 2,500 or nearly, it's basically desktop performance in an enclosure. Uh, so, but that's up to, you know, it's not constant. So here, yeah, it's going to be a little bit less, no question about it. It's probably going to be, yeah, it's not going to be half the speed, but on paper, it certainly is half the speed. And it's just wild to be looking at holding a four terabyte NVMe drive. Now, it is still crazy expensive. As I mentioned, 900 to thousand dollars, somewhere in that range, but no one else is making these. You cannot find another drive on the market from anyone. Samsung would be the usual suspect, SanDisk the other, even though we know SanDisk is Western Digital uh, now. No one has a four terabyte drive. So if you are in any field that requires incredibly fast storage at a high capacity, this is what you should be looking at. Now, I know I haven't tested it, but I already know what the performance of the four terabyte drive is like in here. That's another thing I'm hoping they'll send me just, you know, to try out in my, uh, you know, beast machine to the left of this uh, desk right now. And essentially, from what I've seen, you know, generally when you get beyond that two terabyte threshold, performance can drop off significantly. But the testing I've seen with the, the Rocket Pro in here is that it does not fall off. So that is critical and makes this even more impressive. And you know, a lot of people aren't familiar with Sabrent, but their reputation and their footprint is growing day by day. And there's a reason they're offering five-year warranties on all of these drives. 
Uh, I think it's on all of their products, and they're cranking out quality stuff. Yeah, there are growing pains with time, but I have yet to encounter a Sabrent drive that I haven't liked, and it's not just because I have a relationship with them. Anyone who follows my channel knows that I don't get paid for reviews. I never will. Um, I'm not saying I'll never do a sponsorship, but if a company you know, wants to send me out something to review like this, of course, it, this is of interest to me. I mean, come on, of all people, I'm going to jump at it. So here we have a Type A to Type C cable, and then we have a Type C to Type C, which makes perfect sense because if, like me, you're going to be using this with anything that has Thunderbolt 3, then you don't need the Type A, and it's just good to have that versatility. In the past, a uh, Sabrent would include a cable that essentially had an adapter. I might have one right here uh, to the left. I'm, I'm not seeing it, uh, you know, right here. But the whole point is, again, that the size, the form factor of this, I mean, just for reference, two terabyte sand disk uh, right there. And I'll bring out the Extreme again, which is essentially the exact same size. And by the way, I love the packaging. That's another thing Sabrent gets right every single time. No one else is spending any money on packaging. I don't know why, because it's not a bad thing. Um, another drive I love of theirs, and I, I show this every time, is uh, their tiny, <laughs> the Nano, which you know doesn't have the performance of this or this, but does match the performance of the SanDisk, and well, look at the size difference, right? Uh, in addition, what else do I have here? I've got the, the toolless enclosure that I, I absolutely love. This is really the best, you know, plug and play, hot swappable NVMe enclosure on the market. And yeah, they're all big, they're all beefy, but they can take a beating and that's what's important. I mean, I'm not trying to break them. This is a little bit smaller, of course, than either of these. And that's because uh, these just have speed that is bonkers. And I imagine that's a matter of keeping things as cool as possible because yes, the Extreme does get hot. I'm expecting the Pro will get warm as well, but I'm not expecting any fire-like temperatures. Um, and again, just as a reference point, I do this anytime I bring out uh, my NVMe uh, SSD e external drives, at least, you know, Samsung was where it all started, the T5. And before that, I had the previous generation. And those are still really good drives. But the point is, this used to be your only option. SanDisk came in next. And now Sabrent is just, in my opinion, taking over. I have no reason at this point to recommend either of these over what Sabrent is doing because they are innovating and that's what the four terabyte, hopefully I don't scratch up my desk as I do this with these beefy uh, Sabrent drives, but that's what this four terabyte is all about. I mean, again, you are not going to find a four terabyte drive from anyone else in the world right now. This is basically server grade storage in my opinion in terms of its capacity and overall performance and you can put this in your pocket and connect it to anything. So again, just glad Sabrent sent it over for me to test out and you better believe I will. And I'll probably be, uh, be pitting it directly against the Extreme, but hopefully I get the four terabyte Extreme so it's a like comparison rather than the one terabyte versus four terabyte because again, performance does usually, of course, differ based on uh, the size of the NVMe drive, but again, this is one of the most exciting things I've gotten in a long time because I'm not going to say I didn't dream of ever seeing four terabyte capacity, but you know, when I built my gaming and video editing machine that I mentioned that's over there, you know, I was more than happy, granted it was 2018, more than happy to have a one terabyte, uh, you know, 960 uh, Pro from Samsung in there. Now we're looking at drives like this which of course, as I mentioned, are also available through Sabrent as just an internal drive. You don't have to go external, um, but it's roughly the same price. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you could pull this out of here if you wanted to. I don't see any reason why. Um, I don't know what that would do with warranty, so I'm not recommending that. Uh, this is in stock. I don't know that the internal one is. I don't think the extreme is right now. Of course, there is a shortage across the board on um, computer related peripherals. You know, if you're trying to build a PC these days, good luck. The pandemic has put everything on hold, not just our day-to-day -day lives, but of course, manufacturing. China was shut down for months. Where do you think these products uh, come from? So a lot of people are wondering if 
the shortages are just because everyone's running out and buying computers because they got to work from home. No, it's because supply and demand just aren't in line with one another. I don't think that the demand has skyrocketed because everyone's on a much tighter budget unless you're part of the 1%, right? So as a result, I think it's just a matter of the supply not being able to keep up with the demand. And it's not that the demand is a reflection of that we have an amazing economy because God knows we have anything but right now. But I digress. Kudos to Sabrent. I'm really excited about this thing. If that's not clear, I mean, I said it was going to be quick and it's over 10 minutes and that's because this is crazy. Four terabytes in your pocket with up to 1,000 on both the read and write. Let's get at it. I'm looking forward to it. This is perfect for virtually any kind of 4K content uh, and also file transfer. It's going to change my life. I already know that. I mean, again, I was happy to have a two terabyte internal NVMe in the Spectre X360 13T. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.